Now, we've been sitting at this crossing point for the last 20 minutes or so. We saw some unbelievable action here earlier today. And if you were lucky enough to catch our Facebook Live broadcasts, well, you would have seen a little zebra, unfortunately, meet its death at the uh, teeth of those vicious, enormous reptilians lying satisfied with their meal on the sand there. At the moment, there are two herds of wildebeest and zebra either side of the river thinking about doing a crossing. As Graham was saying to me earlier, he's on camera by the way, if anyone's wondering, uh, it doesn't, you know, there doesn't seem to be much in the way of jeopardy in the water. We've watched a couple of zebras go across to and fro both ways. No one really knows why, but that's what's going on here. We're going to sit here for a little while and then we may go further up the river to see another herd that looked like it was going to try and cross in exactly the same place where we had that quite phenomenal sighting yesterday afternoon. My first time watching this kind of scene. Now if you are missed yesterday, if you don't know what is going on here, where are we, how are we doing this? We're in the Mara Triangle. That is in Kenya, everybody, in Eastern Africa, a stunning country in possibly one of the most iconic wildlife areas in all the world. So it's a great joy to talk to you from here. 510 square kilometers in this particular region, but it's part of a much greater area of 20,000 square kilometers. That's 12,000 square miles or so, and it's roughly the same size I suppose as the Kruger but there are no fences there are no fences here so it's bordered by tribal land so these animals are roaming massive massive areas totally free unfettered this is wildest Africa at its very best Graham off to the left we've got some mm, semi migrating wildebeest I suppose and they're moving up I think they're thinking about maybe going down to the river further down they may or may not we'll just see what happens <laughs> zebras shouting at each other <laughs> and it's not very often you know that we totally focus on two what I suppose would be described as general game at Juma the wildebeest and the zebra you know if we had elephants in the offing which we do here then we'd be focused on them if we were down in Kruger but here this unique situation where these millions of animals throughout the course of the season will migrate across this river again and again crossing to and fro between the months of July and October here in the northern section of the Mara Serengeti ecosystem. It is a quite phenomenal thing to be seeing and it is the most amazing joy to be able to bring it to you wherever you happen to be watching us in the world. Hello, Deborah Armchair Traveller. You say you're bursting at the seams. I've been bursting at the seams. I don't even know where to look half the time here. There are so many animals. So many, it's unbelievable. You cannot look anywhere and not see an animal here. And I think on the other drives, well, I suppose I should introduce the drive as normal. Talk to us. Hashtag Safari Live. Questions at wildearth.tv. We'd love to talk to you. We can talk to you in the same way that Brent and Steph are going to be taking the drives out on Juma today. We can talk to you in the same way that they can. In the final control, we have Kirsten and Louise, and they are sitting at Juma, relaying your questions to me. And I, I mean, sitting in the back behind us here um, after a very satisfying lunch for us all. There's one crossing there, Graham. There's a wildebeest going across, everyone, quite close to where the crocodiles are. And there could be crocodiles under the surface there. We don't know. Let's see what's going on there. Hello, George. Thank you. I will tell Graham that you are very pleased that he is learning the camera well. Well done, Graham. I'll pat him on the back for you, George. Now, I think that young wildebeest is perhaps trying to reach its mother. I don't know. That older one that was sitting up top of the bank there well done little fellow well done we watched one about that size get taken its whole head enclosed in the jaws of one of those vast crocodiles earlier on and they could be lurking under the surface here but I'm under the impression that most of them have probably come out of the water now so as I was saying this possible of course because of the man sitting behind me um, looking 
that various technical things Mr. Peter Brott, of course, an integral part of the Wild Earth team, he set up an astounding number of um, aerials and things like that. Now, while we wait to see what happens here, very special for you back home, Brent is sitting with our favourite, favourite leopard, Cindile.